Welcome to Jacksonville, everybody. This is B-Ron here on WPOE, the place to be for all things Ravens today. We have a Thanksgiving weekend week 12 clash between the Baltimore Ravens and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Love to see these classic uniforms on display for Thanksgiving weekend. Today we're seeing them here. It's going to be fun. The Ravens enter this one 7-3 on the year. Jaguars enter 4-6 on the season. And today we will see that man right there, rookie quarterback Demetrius Maddox on the field for the Jaguars. Speaking of Maddox, him and Lamar Jackson had a Twitter exchange over the week heading up, leading up to this game. Maddox said he was really excited to go against the Ravens defense. It's going to be a fun challenge. Jackson responded with, bring your A-game because I'm bringing mine. A games all on display here in this one for sure. We are so excited to get this one started. Kickoff is right around the corner, folks. Marcus Green will see the ball as they prepare to meet Maddox. Let's get this game underway. Marcus Green gonna field it and bring it up to the 33 after a hard hit. Lamar Jackson and the offense set to take the field for the first time in this one. Jackson last week had the lone touchdown pass on 120 yards through the air. Now look at this. Ravens starting the first play of the game in the monster formation. Gus Edwards in the backfield. We don't see this very often. They're going to hand it to Edwards. Edwards going to get a run up the middle and up to the 43. Get the first down. It was, was short of the marker for by about an inch, they'll say. So, second and inches. Hill in the backfield on the pistol is Baltimore. They will hand it to him. He's going to cut it up the middle and pick up the first down up to the 48. Ravens worked on their run game a lot this week in practice. So expect to see a lot of that today, especially going up against Jalen Ramsey, throwing it to his side. Well, probably not the thing they want to do a whole lot of today. And Hill gets hit hard on that one, losing yards. Hit by Telvin Smith there, bringing up second down. After the loss of a yard, they'll go in the eye formation here for second and 11 as Mark Ingram enters the backfield in the eye form. They'll go play action and now look to throw it as Jackson to Andrews who finds him on the left side. Up to the 34, Jacksonville. Ravens are moving on the opening drive. This is a sight to see. Love it. I absolutely love it. Back in the eye on first and 10 from the Jacksonville 34. Got eight seconds to get the playoff. They'll go back to the air here on second down. Look at across the middle, and that is knocked away. In coverage there was Jalen Ramsey on Miles Boykin. Ravens offense this year. Number seven in the league in total yards gained. They are explosive. Now third and 11 from the Jaguars 34. Jackson in the shotgun. Edwards put out to the left. They're going to go pass here. And bumping, and that is intercepted. There's a flag on the field, though. Ramsey, though, picks it off. And he's going the other way, taken down. Finally, though, getting out of bounds at the 34 of Baltimore. And that's pass interference on the defense on Jalen Ramsey. So, that is going to give the ball back to Baltimore on a first down. The interception has been wiped out. Baltimore gets the ball back on their on Jacksonville's 35. A little handoff to Hill, who takes it up the middle on the run play, up to the 17. Jaguar defense on the year so far. They are 21st in yards allowed, but they do get to the quarterback really well. 12th in sacks, and with the linebackers like Jake Ryan and, and Tubman Smith, talented guys. Now 3rd and 1, looking to keep the drive alive here. Last time they had an interception, but it was called back. So Ingram can get the ball this time and pick up the first down. Getting three is enough. They only needed one, and they got three. Good job. First down, keep the drive moving for the Ravens. Seven, seven runs to three passes here. Second and four, single back for Baltimore here. We'll hand it to Hill, gets the carry, and goes to the middle into the end zone. Touchdown, Ravens. Justice Hill gets the Ravens on the board first here in this one with the run up the middle, gashing through the Jaguar defense and getting some friendly hits as friendly as they can be, rolling toward the end zone as a result, showing off some power, keeping his feet churning through hits and all the way to the end zone. 
And we'll see the Rookie of the Year contender, Demetrius Maddox, hit the field for the first time in this one. Last week, one touchdown, one interception on 220 yards passing. First and ten, they'll start in the single back. Two tight ends in the formation here. It will go past, Maddox throws it, and that is knocked away by Tony Jefferson in coverage there. Jaguar offense so far this year is not the best in the bottom half of the league in terms of offense, but that doesn't mean they're not talent. Leonard Fournette is one of those guys. After the completion on first down, it's now second and ten. Back in the gun, they will go handoff to Fournette here, who takes it up the middle and gets hit down at the 32. Now a third and three, safety is coming down here into the box to fill. Make an adjustment here at the line of scrimmage. And it will pass on third down. Caught by Fournette, but knocked out of his hands. Incomplete. Intended for Dries Williams, the rookie running back. Knocking it away was Patrick Owasso, forcing a fourth and three. Jacksonville three and out on the opening drive. Now first and ten from their own 21. Brown in the slot, and they're going to run the single back. Brown's going to come in motion, and they'll give it to him on the jet sweep. And there he goes off the left side, picking up the first down and getting out of bounds at the 42. Love to see Brown getting involved in multiple ways. He's done that so far this year on jet sweeps like that and making big plays in the passing game as well. After the run play, got him the first down up to the 42. Single back here for Baltimore. As they will go play fake here and now looking for Andrews. This time he can't come down with it. Incomplete. Got to get nine here on third down. Ten seconds on the play clock in the gun as Baltimore Edwards split out left in the formation. Andrews slot right. They're going to go pass here. Now rolling right is Jackson back to his left side and dropped by Miles Boykin. Or Cameron Meredith in coverage. That was Jalen Ramsey in coverage on Cameron Meredith. Baltimore now is going to punt the ball back to the Jaguars. First and ten. Jaguars in a single back. Two tight ends and receivers in the formation. They'll hand off to Fournette. Fournette is going to be hit down by Jefferson at the line of scrimmage and maybe getting a yard. Raven defense. They played really well last week, holding the Bills to seven points. Today they're looking to hold Maddox and company to seven points, or maybe less if they have it their way. They're really good defense, though. Now second and eight. Ravens in the 4-3, Jaguars in the shotgun here. Fournette is put out left. They'll hand it to him again, and he's met by the former. No, that is by Michael Pierce. That was number that was 93, but nope. Michael Pierce making the play, bringing up third and nine. Third and nine here for Jacksonville. And they'll go pass here. Maddox looking right, right throws that way. Caught by Williams, makes two men miss. Juking two guys out of the shoes. My goodness. That's a first down. Is now the former Raven, now Jaguar. Hayden Hurst is injured on the last play. He is down. And he is going to exit the game now and head to the sideline. Second and 11. Jaguar is in the single back. Three receivers in the formation. All of them on the left side. There's a four receiver on the right side. Catch made by Fournette. And now Fournette is down after gaining yard, bringing up third and three. But Fournette going to be injured on the play. And now he will have to exit the game as well. Now third and three. Jaguar is in the shotgun here. They'll go pass on third down. Maddox fires and that's a catch across the middle of the field. First down and more up to the Raven 31. It was D.D. Westbrook on the reception. Getting him up here to the 31 now. The Drees Williams will take over the running back duties. He's going to get the ball here. And taken down by J.J. Mirabli on the run play. Good job, the other rookie. Now third and three here. Jaguars come out in the gun. Ravens bring linebackers on the blitz. And that is dumped off for a first down. Second quarter about to start here. Second and six. Jacksonville on the Raven 14. Single back formation, your receiver comes in motion. They'll hand it to him on the jet sweep. That's 
Nowhere, nowhere for him to go, but to the end zone. That is D.D. Westbrook getting involved in the run game now. He caught a pass earlier on the drive. This one is a run play on the jet sweep. Gets Jaguars on the board. First and ten. Aliens will start in the single back. Three receivers to the right. They'll go with the counter run here to Hill. Hill going to pick up a first down. And 31 yards for him on the day so far. And a touchdown for him as well. Good start for Justice Hill. We've seen him come onto the scene this year. He got the start and making the most of opportunity so far this year. Very, very pleased with his play. Now here in the bunch formation, again, it's second and eight as Ingram enters the backfield. They'll go pass here on the second down play. Jackson looking to go somewhere, but he's going to go right to the ground as Jake Ryan brings him down for a sack. Jackson tried to scramble and get away, but Ryan was in spy mode. Not letting Jackson get anywhere, and that's what you got to do with Lamar. You've got to have a spy. You cannot let him run free. Bad things will happen if you do on that play. It was a good thing for Jacksonville because Jake Ryan was there to bring Lamar down behind the line of scrimmage for a sack. Now, third and nine after the sack from Ryan. Ravens in the gun here. Edwards in the backfield to the right of Jackson. They'll go pass here. And Jackson rolls out to his right. Throws it that way. Caught by Boykin. But I think he's short of the marker. He is short by two yards. So they're forced to punt this one away again for a second time. First and ten. In the single back is Jackson. But Williams in the backfield. They'll hand it to him. And he's met by two Raven defenders behind him on a scrimmage. That's Judon and Brandon Williams, second and 12 coming up. Now backed up to the one here on second and 12. Ravens might bring pressure. I'd expect them to here this close to the end zone. They do, and that is going to be a safety. Once again, Judon and Williams combine this time to get points for the defense. That's two of them. Ravens now have a 9-7 lead. I didn't know the Orioles were playing the Rays today, but here we are. It's fine. 9-7 game. Rays had the lead now. Really difficult time. Jackson's having running the ball today. Second and 10 now. After the gain of none on the run play. Now they'll go pass here. Jackson's going to roll out to his right and throw it for Brown, who's going to come down with it in traffic. Man all over him, but Hollywood able to bring the ball in. And pick up the first down for Baltimore up to the 48. Now, second and six after the run play from Hill. Pistol again here as Baltimore Boyk in the slot. We'll go play action. And now Jackson in some trouble and decides to take off, pick up the first down, and gets out of bounds smartly, crossing the 50 up to the 41 of Jacksonville. First and 10 here on the Jaguar side of the field to the 41 in the pistol. They'll play fake to Hill. Jackson rolls out. Now lets it go down the field for Andrews. It's knocked away from him. Great coverage there by Wilson. Gate of 11 gets Baltimore the first down. It's up to the 30 of Jacksonville now here in the pistol. They go five seconds on the play clock. Snap Jackson to throw here. He's in some trouble. Now steps up but goes down for another sack. This one by Marcel Darius. The former Auburn Tiger brings down Jackson in the backfield for a second sack of the day. After the sack, it's second and 13. Ravens in the pistol again. They're going to go pass play here. Looking for Brown, who brings it in up to the 21. They'll be short a yard. They need one yard here. Can they get on third down? So the 21 in the power eye formation is Baltimore. They'll hand it to Ingram, who is going to be met. And maybe a face mask. Yes, it's going to be a face mask penalty. So it would have been fourth down. Now it's going to be 15 yards and an automatic first down for Baltimore to the 10. Third and five here now. Baltimore so close to scoring a touchdown. Can they do it here on the play? They'll go pass here looking for the end zone for Boykin. 
Brings it in! Touchdown, Ravens! Miles Boykin now getting involved in the touchdown festivities here. Brings the catch in despite the heavy traffic there. Holds on to the ball and gives Baltimore another touchdown. Makes it now 15-7 depending on the punt of touchdown. Now first and 10 in the eye here. Ingram in the backfield with Ricard as well. They go with a counter run. Ingram breaks a tackle and fights through. Now gets another tackle broken up to the 43. Good run there from the veteran. Second and 10 now after the gain of none by Hill on the run play. Bunch set here in the single back. That's Boykin, Andrews, and Boyle on the right side here with Brown the slot to the left. They'll go with the pass play here. And he'll dump it off short to Boykin who makes the catch and plows through two defenders. My goodness, show some power there. Third and one. Third and one. You can do whatever you want here. What does Baltimore have in store for us on this play? They've got Brown slot to the left. Hill in the backfield. Single back here. They'll go pass play. And Jackson's going to scramble out and throw it to Brown on the right side. Boykin on the right side. Makes the catch up to the 25. Getting out of bounds. Another catch for Boykin. Another first down for Baltimore. Third and one. 13 seconds left in the first half of play. Single back here. Hill going to get the ball on the run play. Pick up the first down. And Baltimore's going to use their first timeout. With just nine seconds left. They're close to take one more shot at the end zone here. We'll see what they do after this after the break. With just five seconds left now, they'll bring out Justin Tucker for a 30-yard field goal attempt to extend the lead before heading to the locker room. Tucker's kick is up and down the middle. Good. 19-7. Ravens extend the lead with halftime approaching. Clock has reached zeros here in Jacksonville, which means it's time to go to the locker room and halftime. Ravens have the lead going into halftime, 19 to 7. Let's go around the league really quick for three games here on Thanksgiving Sunday. The Philadelphia Eagles and the Steelers are tied right now at halftime, all at 14. Looking forward to seeing how that one finishes out. Going on up to New York, where the Rams are playing the Jets, and the Rams are out in front by 10 in that one, 17 to 10, with halftime approaching in that game as well. And finally, on down to Dallas, the Browns and Cowboys on Thanksgiving Day. Cowboys won that game 28 to 14. Good news for us, I'll say that much. Meanwhile, here in this one, it's been a different kind of game from last week. Not been the dominating performance we expected, but you know what? We're winning. That's all that matters right now. Demetrius Maddox and the offense come out onto the field for their first drive of the second half. We'll see what they can do. Maddox has shown some flashes today. He's shown some really good balls so far today. First and 10 from the shotgun. They're going to go with a run play, and Williams is going to be met behind the line of scrimmage. Third and six now in the single back here is... Jacksonville Williams in the backfield. They're going to go play action. In some trouble is Maddox, but he finds his target down the middle of a field. Third and seven now from the Raven 49. In the gun is Jacksonville. Forrest, he was in the formation here. They go pass. Maddox throws to a wide open receiver on the left side. That's Marquise Lee. First down, and Jaguars is going to keep the drive moving. Third and five, Jacksonville now empty. Might be a matchup problem here for Baltimore. We'll see what happens, though. They go past Maddox, throws right side, caught. Another first down. Dries Williams on the catch. Third one for him on the day. Jacksonville's looking really good on their opening drive here. First and ten. The Raven 26. Hurst comes in motion. They'll hand it to Williams, who goes up the middle. Best run of the day for him, picking up the first down. Baltimore has no answer to this offense right now. They're moving the ball really nicely. First and 10 in the gun here. Maddox is going to hand it to Williams. He's going to take it left and met by J.J. Mirabli. Second and 10. Now bunch formation in the shotgun. The receiver to the right side here. Second and 10. They'll go past Maddox to the air. 
Now rolls out to his right. Look at end zone. Overthrowing Marquise Lee. Third and ten. Lamar Jackson the offense so far today. 119 yards passing and a touchdown on the day for him. 11 of 18 completions. In the strong eye, they start this time on their own 25. A lot of rhymes there in that sentence. My goodness. <laughs> There we go. First and 10. Looking over the middle. Cup by Brown. And up to the 40. And now Brian is down on the Jaguar side of the field. Now second and 11 here after the loss of yards on that run play. They'll make it just right here at the line of scrimmage. They will hand it to Hill again. And now he's losing more yards. Back to the 34. Now third and 17. As Telvin Smith again making his presence felt. Third and long here for Baltimore. 17 yards to be exact. They got to get. As Angles in the back foot in the shotgun. They go pass here on third down. Jackson looks long for Brown. It's unfortunately out of bounds. We're throwing him incomplete. They just both to punt this one away here on the drive. Now third and three in the single back here is Jacksonville. And they'll go pass, and Maddox is going down as Tony Jefferson coming through untouched, bringing Maddox down for a sack and forcing a three and out on the drive for Jacksonville. It went with a play action play, and Jefferson was not fooled. One block was picked up. Kenny Young was picked up on the play. Only blocks many people. They sent more pressure than they could handle. First and 10 for Baltimore. At their own 48, they'll start this drive. Single back here. Hill is going to get the play action. And now Jackson looks long down the middle of the field for Brown. It's knocked away, incomplete. Now a third and seven here for Baltimore. As they're on the Jacksonville 49. In the shotgun, they'll go pass play. And a scramble out to the right and throw it to Brown who makes the catch and bounds. They'll say he does. First down for now. It might be looked at, though. But for now, first down Baltimore. There is no review, surprisingly to me, but first and ten. Edwards in the backfield in the gun. So he'll hand it to him. He's going to get some good blocks up the left side. Good run for Edwards up to the 19 of Jacksonville. Fourth quarter time will start this one. Second and two from the 10. Ravens in the gun. With four students in the formation. You're going to go pass here. And looking to the end zone. A little late perhaps. And yes. Incomplete. Out of bounds. Third and two. After the incompletion to the end zone. It's third and two. In the eye here is Baltimore. They'll give it to who else? Mark Ingram. He's going to be stopped short of the marker though I believe. Yes. Jaguar even celebrating. Stopped short of the marker. Fairly makes the play. And Baltimore is forced to kick a field goal. They will not send out Tucker from this range. Coach Reed's is getting a little bit aggressive here. He wants more than three points. They're going to go keeper. And Jackson is going to get the first down. Yes, he is. Now first and goal after the keeper from Jackson kept the drive going. In the pistol. Hill going to get the ball and go into the end zone for a second time. Justice Hill, second rushing touchdown of the day. Extends the lead now 25-10. to 10. Jaguars and company held in check so far. In the shotgun here on first and 10. They'll go with the screen pass here, and it's set up perfectly. Blocks are in front of Woods. Got space down the left side, and finally hit out of bounds at the 47. I'm going to consider bringing some pressure on Maddox here. It's second and four now. In the gun, they'll go pass play. Maddox under pressure this time, and that is knocked away by Tavon Young. It's Marquise Lee. Big third down here coming up. Third and four. Jaguars in the gun. Maddox to throw, dumps it off short for Hurst who makes the catch, breaks the tackle and now down the right side, pulled down by Kenny Young and now Young is down, holding his lower back, he'll have to exit the game. The former Raven, Hayden Hurst, gets the Jaguars down, here's the 23, first and 10, 
in the shotgun. They will go with a draw play to Williams and nowhere for him to go. Second and 12. It's J.J. Mirabli. Second tackle for a loss in the day. He's got four tackles now. Playing really well today. I'll, I'll tell you that much. Third and five now for Jacksonville. Looking to convert another one here. Passing again is Maddox. Closing over the middle is caught by Hurst. Another first down for Jacksonville. Maddox looking really good on the drive. And on the day two, over 100 yards passing. Now another third down here. They've done really well so far on the drive. They need 10. They can score and get to Vernon without scoring here. Pass play. Maddox to the end zone. Caught. Hayden Hurst again. Touchdown, Jaguars. The former Raven scores against his old team. And cuts the lead down to now it's 26-16. Two-point chance here for Jacksonville. 26-16. Two-point attempt is no good. Pass intended for Marquise Lee. Second and 10 now for the Ravens here. As they come out in the shotgun formation again. This time they're going to go pass play, throwing it for Brown. Skies up and brings it down. First down for the Ravens. Now Gus Edwards enters the backfield. Second and 10 at the completion to Brown. They're going to go with a counter run play. And Edwards finds some space after looking like it was going to go nowhere. Got some yards instead. Enough for a first down as well. That's a good center ball. But at this point in the game... You want to keep the clock moving as much as you possibly can. Jaguars scored in their last drive. Your defense has to do their part. Give them some time to rest, though, and they'll be able to do a little bit better. Now, first and ten after the run from Gus Edwards. He gets on to the 49 of Baltimore here in the shotgun. They're going to go with the option. Jackson going to keep it. He has space down the left side and more room. And finally hit down at the 22. After failing to juke out Wilson, but luckily he did not fumble the ball. He had issued that in the first half of the season. This time he was hit, able to hold on to the ball and keep the drive moving after a big run play from Jackson. 4.50 left in the game. It's third and eight. In the gun is Baltimore. They're going to go pass play on third down. Pressure coming. Caught by Meredith. Up to the one-yard line. That was looking to be a dangerous throw with a linebacker corner lurking in coverage there. Luckily, though, not able to make a play on the ball. And Meredith is down to the one as a result. He had some big games a few weeks ago. And today, that was his biggest catch of the game so far. Now, first and goal from the one. Kenton, they punch it in. Four minutes and five seconds left in the game. Five seconds on the play clock now. They're going to give the ball to Ingram. Ingram plowing his way to the end zone. That's a touchdown for Baltimore. Another one, as DJ Khaled would say. 32-16. Ravens extend their lead some more. With the game starting to reach the point of no return for the Jaguars. Good push by the line and good push by Mark Ingram. Both sides willing their way into the end zone. Great game for the Ravens. Impressive showing by Dimitri Maddox as well. Got to give credit where it's due to the rookie. Played well against this tough Baltimore Raven defense today. Not well enough to win, unfortunately, but again, give credit where it's due. The Ravens move to 8-3 on the year with the win. Jaguars fall to 4-7 with the loss here in this one was a wonderful wonderful game thank you all so so much for watching and tuning in listening here on WPOE the place to be for all things Ravens for everyone here I appreciate you we appreciate you we will see you in the weekly recap video that is going to be coming to you soon thank you all so so much and until next time be sure to like the video Subscribe if you have not already. Hit the bell button as well when you do. That way you'll get notified when videos go live for you. And did you know that I stream on Twitch sometimes? We're going to get better about it. 
I'll put the Twitch and Twitter links in the description down below. Be sure to follow me over there on those respective platforms. I'll forget to plug those in there at the end. Anyway, you guys, I'll see you in the weekly recap video. Until then, you know what to do. Keep on shining and keep on grinding. I will see you all in the weekly recap video.